Hello, I'm Emma. And I'm Lauren, and this is Wildcat News for Tuesday, October 3rd. Students, make sure you're wearing your IDs. If you don't have your ID, then you need a temporary ID from your homeroom teacher. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here are today's announcements. It's time to find out what's for lunch today. Time to find out what happened on this day in history. Twelve twenty-six, Saint Francis of Assisi, the founder of the Franciscan Order, dies. Known for his devotion to the poor, he is made a Catholic saint two years later. Nineteen ninety, West and East Germany become one country again, reunifying after forty-five years apart. That division lasted from the Nazi defeat in World War II through the fall of the Berlin Wall and the collapse of communism in Eastern Europe. 1951. Baseball's shot heard round the world in the deciding National League playoff game in New York. Bobby Thompson with the New York Giants hits a three-run home run in the bottom of the ninth inning. The Giants beat the Brooklyn Dodgers and head for the World Series losing to the New York Yankees. And 1955. Birth of two children's TV classics. Captain Kangaroo arrives on CBS. While the Mickey Mouse Club premieres on ABC. Today in History, October 3rd. Camille Bohannon, The Associated Press. Keep bringing in supplies for the animal care collection drive. We need canned dog food and canned cat food, paper towels, and pet treats such as dog biscuits. Today is also the second day of the book fair. You will visit the media center with your language arts classes, or you can come in the morning or during other class times with a pass or money to buy something. Buy lots of books to raise money for HMS. This afternoon will be the second day of step teen trials. Starting at 3.45 p.m., make sure you wear comfortable clothes and tennis shoes. Intramurals for 7th grade will take place tomorrow morning at 7.40 a.m. in the gym. Yearbook Club meets today at 3.15 p.m. in Ms. Acton's room. Basketball conditioning continues this Tuesday and Thursday from 3.45 to 4.30 p.m. All students are eligible to attend as long as they have completed physical forms on file with the school. The HMS volleyball team takes on Wilmot Wildcats again today, this time at Wilmot starting at 5.30 p.m. Good luck, Lady Wildcats. Starting today, the Wildcat News will feature a trivia question to test your knowledge of language, arts, math, science, social studies, and sports. Today's question comes from Ms. Greenway. Why are large cities usually located near major waterways such as large rivers, seas, and oceans? The answer is because our forefathers and ancestors used the waterways for trade and travel. That's all the announcements we have for you today. Make it a great day or not. The choice <laughs> is yours! Students, make sure you're wearing your IDs. If you don't have your ID, then you need to get a temporary ID from the Your <laughs> book club meets today at 3.15 p.m. in Ms. Acton's room at 107. Please stand for the pl <laughs> <laughs>